but I hope you all are having a great day. Yesterday was a challenging day of FTL, that's for sure. We got a win or two, and then things started going down. So, uh, yesterday, uh, after the losing, we did get one Crystal A run win in. I we're going to start a Crystal A and random and see if we can keep our positivity. I'm trying to remember, yesterday we talked about, uh, I was getting frustrated about not having consistent wins, and uh, Farb talked about trying to play for immediate gains rather than long, long-term gains, I guess. So, uh, well, let's see what our first ship of the day is. So here we go. Random ship in three, two, one, and random. What are we starting with? The Zoltan B. Okay, well, at least it's not the Zoltan C, I guess. At least it is not the Zoltan C. Uh, let's see. This is the one with, uh, okay, this is not the one without any power. It's just low power. Zoltan ship, I guess. Two ion blasts and a pike beam. Okay. Uh, let me make sure my chat's still working, because I feel like it stopped moving once I actually, okay, good. <laughs> well, uh, let's, uh, let's jump right in. Uh, I had somebody who wanted to be a mantis, but not a Zoltan. Okay, all right. Um, let's see here. So this is the ship that we need to save our first hundred scrap to get shields. Honestly, the weapons on this ship aren't terrible to start either. Pike beam's a little slow, but we have Zoltan sheep. The Zoltan ship, Zoltan sheep, have Zoltan shield to keep us safe for the first couple of shots. Uh, we don't want to go to an early store till after we've gotten a hundred scrap to at least get shields. I think so. Good luck, thank you, and I appreciate it. I will probably need it too. Uh, that's a, that's an event where I need stuff. I need stuff. What's this sector layout look like? It's interesting. Uh, it takes two nebula jumps to get an extra one, so I can go through all three of these and then this one. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll go into half power nebula. Oh, man, do I do this? It's a one in four or one in five to lose crew. Losing crew is really punishing on this ship because of our low power. Oh, man. What's up, RPG? God, I want to take the risk. Oh, God. Don't kill my crew. Don't kill my crew. Yes! Oh, freaking payoff, man. All right, that's great. That is actually amazing right there. Uh, let's go do this. And NG gives us so much. That is, that was a really big gamble. I, I really, pretty much only did that because this is the second run of the streak attempt. So, you approve of a Zoltan ship? I, I, I believe, I believe you, RPG. Oh God. Uh, this is bad. Beam is gonna kill my stuff right away. Okay. Okay. There we go. Very nice. The first run, may you be the pilot. It's the first run of the day. It's the second run of the street because we got that Crystal A run yesterday. You want to be the NG pilot, eh? Okay. Okay. I don't know which Zoltan will be shields. Probably this guy, which I'm guessing uh, RPG Nerdos will want access to, but we won't. We're not putting a guy on shields. So we actually have shields that work, so. Wow, these are just all half power things here. All right. Man, that's two ships in a row with beam drones. Okay. Okay, that drone's down. You have a value point in shields. I don't know. Yes, he does. Okay. Alright, alright. Good fight so far. Good fight so far. Take no damage. You totally meant first run of the day. Okay, okay. The trolling, the trolling has gone overdrive, I guess, this morning. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh my god, we've gone through nothing but uh, half-powered nebulas and now an asteroid field. Or at least it doesn't have an offensive drone, but goodness gracious, game. Goodness gracious. 
Uh, do I have to live in scary places all the time? Well, oh, that's a freaking good dodge. Okay. Keep his weapons down. This is, this is bad. This is really bad. Asteroids, don't kill me, please. Oh, that's a freaking good dodge. Okay, all right. Let me, let me, let me out. Let me out. I want to leave. I want to leave. Oh my god, so many freaking dodges. All right, Aiden. I guess you're allowed to troll if you can dodge like that. All right, so nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Okay. You're here for the positive FTL experience. That's right. We're so positive around here. So positive. No negativity around here. Do I know that I can find anti-bio beams in stores? Oh my god. Why did I have to say you're allowed to troll? I don't know why I said that. Uh, oh, he doesn't have value points, so I can't actually... Uh, seven missiles, two drone parts. I think that's actually max on those two. Um, I really need scrap to get my shields online. But I'm pretty sure that's max deal on those two things. Or close to, maybe eight missiles. I'm going to actually take that. Because I, I think it's close to max there. Eight is max missiles, two is drones. Okay, so it's one off max on the missiles. Oh, God. So we've had Asteroid Field, Half Power Nebulas, and now Zoltan Shield with Missile Ship. Okay. Good thing Zoltan Shield is so good on our end, too, but... And our dodges have been crazy to start. That's definitely not max, although it was max on drone parts. We have an NG nice slaver surrender of free boy. It was uh <laughs> It was your favorite event event, Britnoth. It was manually search the nebula and I it was like second jump. It was like this one or this one, manually search, and I was debating, and I said, you know what, second run of the streak, let's go for it. So yes, I I took a chance at losing a Zoltan for that quest. Thankfully it paid off. One, two, three, do I want to go to the store? I don't even want to go to the store until I get my shields up. I mean, what if it's long range scanners? Eight, five, six, seven. We want shields, right? But what, if, what what else could be at the store? There could be really good weapons. I know, if I'm 27 and 0, do I take that risk? I don't know. I, I probably not. <laughs> I don't know, though. Doors win runs, right? What if there's a flak? All right, let's check it. Even though I really, really, really want shields. I feel like we have to check it. Oh my god, those weapons are insane. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, <sighs> Won't be one of the Zoltans? Alright. Sure. While well, I'm considering what the hell I'm supposed to do right now. I can be a dodge guy. Can I get both if I sell everything? Um, 145. Actually, I think I might be able to. 30. This 27 is 57. 57. 141. I think I'm like four scraps short. And I'm not selling my Zoltan Shield. Although I did that yesterday, and that was a terrible play. I think I sell... Maybe I don't even sell an Ion Blast. Maybe I just buy Flak. 
black pike beam. Maybe. Hmm. What's up, White Mambola? I'm gonna sell one, actually. I'm gonna sell one so I can get to my shield a little bit quicker. I need I need to get to my set my to my actual shields. Got some of the debris. 19 scrap is very nice. Yeah, black ahoy. Okay, where are they? Go down here, over here. Okay. Start swapping them around. Damn it. That was some very slow venting game. Right, I took one damage I didn't need to, but the venting on this ship sucks, so... we got stuff for being boarded, I think. Pretty sure that wasn't just reboarding there. Two, three, four. If you wanted to recommend me a game, should you do it via Whisper? I mean, you could do it in chat, but yes, I prefer the Whisper so that I can... I like What I like is if you send me the link to the Steam page in a Whisper. That way I can click on it after the stream at some point and check it out. Alright, ten more scrap and we can actually have some shields. Ten more scrap. Hey, please have ten scrap. Please. Okay. Hopefully we get ten scrap here. Wait for the pike beam. Uh, that's one scrap less than I need, game. One scrap less than I need. As for crew micro, expert would have been me not taking any damage, so. But I took one, so it was less than optimal. 19 scrap in sector one, that's great. Okay, before I do anything else, this. And we have an RPG Nerdos. Welcome aboard, RPG. You were here the entire time, I should have known. Okay. You can tell me the name of the game, RPG, and maybe I can tell you if I've heard of it before. Mantis or Rebel? Oh, I don't want to deal with Mantis borders. Press, we have an in and out of silly device. Silly device is not on doors, so why would it be a silly device? I'm gonna knock Omantis. I feel like hopefully we'll have not crazy amount of rebel borders. Alright, I don't have anything to sell except this ion blast. What do I need to get next? Hacking, probably. <coughs> Excuse me. I swear my voice is gonna be really raw today. I had a very tiring rehearsal last night. I can actually go one, two, three, four. And across. I'm gonna give myself that option. You were looking at the mantis? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for wanting me to die to mantis? Or just. I don't know. Thinking of recommending Ori and the Blind Force and or Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight. Okay. Alright, maybe I want to get some dodge training. Is this the ship to do it? No, no it's not. 
Both reward exploration. Yeah, yeah. They're both very... I've heard very good things about both games. Rebel equals likely offensive drones. Well, I feel like maybe I deal with defense or offensive drones better than I do with Mantis borders bypassing my Zoltan ship. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Three five Mantis borders, I don't know if I survived that. Right, there's weapon training already. That's nice. Double reward? Nice. Alright, do I want to go for my second shield? Do I go to the store? I could get long-range scanners. Still don't have anything to sell. I guess I'll go here, and then we'll decide if we go to the store. If I get enough to, like, buy hacking, I would definitely go to the store. He is running. I should be able to stop that, though. <laughs> I will say, uh, RPG, probably the reason I haven't played Ori and the Blind Forest or Hollow Knight yet. I'm pretty sure those are both pretty heavily story-driven platformer-type games. I think. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't played either. And, you know, story and platforming are neither my, uh, are neither of my favorite things, so. This sells for 15. So if I sell this, I would have exactly enough for hacking. So let's see if they've got hacking. I think it's worth selling an Ion Blast for hacking if they have it. They do have it. Okay. Although I know that Ion Blast is a very good weapon. It's a very nice transition weapon. But I think just buying hacking, I think, is better. I think it is. I think that's just better. I mean, it's, it's just having hacking, and having hacking is OP. Reject. You must have a Dalton Tan bypass. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to go help him. I was hoping that would be the, the one where we could actually get the crew, where you know it's the real crew, but no, no such luck. Uh, three fuel, three missiles, nah. Two fuel, 19 scrap, yes. You can imagine, especially Ori, Hollow Knight has a lot of variety in terms of how you fight and where you go to do what, yeah. It's just they're... They're great games, just not in the genre that I usually like to play. So I, I, I'll probably check them out and probably keep them on my wish list, but not be the game that I stream next. Okay, missile and running away with a beam drone. I probably wasted that drone. Oh well. I wasn't sure if my Zoltan shield will stay up long enough with a with a beam drone firing at me. Holy free defense drone, okay. Alright, so I need power and then second shield and more power. Looking at the power for now. Work for second shield next, I think. I feel like this offense should carry me for a while. Although Pike Bean's not the great greatest, but Black is the greatest, so you know. That's a two damage missile. Mm -hmm. 
maybe try to get a little bit of dodge training here, maybe. Depends on how fast he repairs this, I guess. How close are we? We need seven more dodges. Yeah, no, we're not doing that with a missile. Okay, double reward, baby. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Let's get that shield value three away from second shield. Okay. Okay. Now this feels like a potential dodge training ship. Maybe? I mean, if that's a small bomb, I don't know. There's a small bomb. I should take the bomb offline. Okay, all right. Let's try to keep... Um, I want to. I want to get some. Try to get a few dodges from this laser. Yeah, we'll, we'll just do this. We'll keep keep shields down. Pike beam this every time it gets repaired, kind of thing. Very nice. Just very slowly kill this guy. Now that is max missile syndrome parts, but now we're not taking it. <laughs> Four more dodges. Oh, those doges though. your bombs are hitting, I should kill you. 19 scrap. Okay, these are some decent rewards here. Amount of missiles are too damn high. Well, at least we have Zoltan Shield. Zoltan Shield makes missiles much less scary early game, at least. Alright, there we go. Now we're going to be saving up for something. I don't know what it's going to be. Power, potentially. Engines. Saving up for mind control or cloaking. One of those things. Now, if I get this missile offline, this could be a dodge train ship, I'm sure. Yes, okay. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be patient. As long as I'm not getting hit by missiles. some dodge training here because I only need a couple more three more dodges well yeah three more Zoltan D variant sure yeah kind of like kind of like that story time uh do I have a, do I have a short story I could tell you while I try to get this little bit of training um <laughs> I don't know. uh do I have any more stories about my move-in? So we had really bad ice. Um, my parents are getting pretty old. So most of our moving was... My mom, like, cannot see. Like, she's, like, legally blind. Her eyes have just gotten worse and worse as she's gotten older. So, like... Her inability to see and the fact that everywhere we went, everything was covered in ice made it so that her falling was a real uh, worry. So, oh man, only one more dodge. So half the time I was going around preparing for the move was making sure she's not falling while me and my dad are like moving big, giant, heavy things. So it's not really a story, just aging sucks. <laughs> that's, that's the whole story. Aging really sucks. All right, one more ion shot. Bam, perfect. And that's the whole story. Aging sucks and my poor mom being unable to see. What's up, Bastel Golem? Oh man, I don't want to go to rock. I'd have to get level five engines to protect from Um Rock Live Mine, but if I go pirate, there's a chance 
We have four Zoltan. Your mother's almost deaf. Yeah. I'm going pirate. I think Roth might just kill us. Wonder what the upper limit is on what eyeglasses can do. You thought that as long as your eyes can interpret life, the eyeglasses could fix your vision. No, not at least not for whatever degenerative eye problems my mom and her sisters have. It's it's like a I think it's a genetic thing because it's not just her. At least one or two of her sisters has the same issue with their eyes going really bad. It's like there's certain part of her eyes that just don't detect anything. So like she can see like some peripheral things, but she has to hold screens right up here to see. I don't know. I'm no, I'm no eye doctor, that's for sure. Doctor told you for five years you had macular degeneration due to diabetes. Last year you were cleared of the condition because they got a better imager. Interesting. Okay. Nice, nice. All right, what am I trying to do next? Um, level 2 hacking and some power seems good. Do I want to invest in it yet? Two shield ships. I'm going to get one power so I can at least have my shields and or hacking up. I think I'm going to save scrap now. So if I get three nebula jumps, I get 12. Let's plan on doing that. Down and around, maybe. I've tempted fate once. I'm not tempting fate a second time. I got I got this amazing NG the first time. Going for that twice is just asking to lose a Zoltan. Actually, losing any of my crew would be debilitating right now. Ho ho ho! That's a silly device. That is a silly device. You ask why Inan was silly device? Because Inan was not silly device. Silly device was here the whole time. Apparently, NGs are living in a nebula. Living in a nebula. 62 scrap. I have a sell defense drone to sell. Okay, so I could get mind control if it's for sale. Would be funny if I tried the event and it took away my NG. <laughs> funny? I don't know if funny is the word I'd use. Trolley, maybe. Funny for you guys. All right, let's get the mind control. All right. Cloaking and backup battery are all the systems we need to buy anymore, so... Looking good system-wise. Can I sell the Zoltan Shield for a few scrap? I can. Will I? No chance in hell. <laughs> Thanks for asking. If I can make it so that I never get hit by a missile. Ooh. Okay, so the discussion yesterday was about when do you take free crew? Only when you have all the other stuff. Do I have enough stuff where I take a mantis? There's one user that is marked as suspicious and being monitored. Anyone has any idea what's up with that? That's just the new Twitch chat thing. If they've first time chat, I, I don't I don't know, but don't don't like Yeah, I've had people marked as suspicious. That's I don't know what all the rules are for that. This is the okay, so this is this if they offer slavish tribute, if I kill them I get high scrap reward. Well, I have, I have mind control, so I'm actually not too worried about my boarding defense. This is high scrap. I have to take scrap. Oh, uh, crap. I'm gonna... Power. Okay. Yeah, 32 scrap. I want a Mantis in my old... I would have said before, you know, that's a 50-something scrap deal, but... I do kind of just need scrap right now. 
Are you suspicious? You're always suspicious, Annan. That's why we love you and and or hate you. Mostly love, though. Suspicious users could be that they have been banned on another account and made a new account with the same email. Okay. Well, I... Mm. I... Oh, that's way too early. Damn it. I try not to ban people too quickly. If they haven't done anything in my chat that's bannable, I'm not gonna... Yeah. Okay, alright, we got something down there. Controlled that. Let's do this right this time. Good dodge. I only need one shield. Five fuel, two drone parts. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Nice. If they've gotten banned on another Twitch channel, that's that's fine. There are so many different rules. Just because somebody's been banned in one channel doesn't mean they need to be banned here. Can this ship ever crew kill? Uh, with mind control and hacking, potentially. So with the two systems this ship didn't start with, maybe. I wouldn't say that this... The starting build for this ship is a crew killing build. No, I would not say it's at least not consistently. Okay. Okay, well that's not what I was hoping they would do. That was so awkward when uh Okay, I'm not even gonna try here. When you mind control a guy in a broken room and he won't fight the crew in that room, it's like, I want you to fight the crew in the broken room. The default weapons, you can get safe fights in ion kill on O2. It's not easy with just two ions, you usually need one more. Yeah. Two ion blasts, mark one. That sounds not super consistent. So, six, five. Four. So if I get heated four, two, three, four. Okay, I can go. I can get out either way and get all my jumps. Yeah, O2 crew kills. Sketchy. Um, I'm pretty sure this can kill my crew. Let me check. Small research station putting out a distress signal. I'm pretty sure this is one of those bad ones. FTL small research station. Putting out a distress signal. No response to your hail. Is that this one? Yes. Uh, yeah, that's the level three, level two or three med bay. That's what we need. Okay, leave it alone. Would I want a store if I found one? Not enough for cloaking. I could get long range scanners. Yeah, I probably would. No pause, best pause. What's up, Dungeon? Alright, we're gonna hack your weapons here. Mind control be like, stop hitting yourself. Wait, no, hit yourself, but not like that, please. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like that. Alright, we're... We're pretty immune to damage here if I just move this guy here. Did I get there in time? Okay, I think I got there just in time, man. For that pulsar to not take that shield out as the heavy laser fired. Good fight. It's close. It's close. I should have moved this guy earlier, but I was like debating on if I needed to or not. And I did need to. 
Free to rescue the store. Okay, so the quest is a store rescue. So that's a guaranteed store in Sector. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna hack those weapons. That's a bunch of fast firing stuff in an asteroid field. Yeah, weapon hack is really strong against enemies, that's for damn sure. Weapon hack so strong. We're getting close to cloaking, man. Oh man. Oh man. I kinda need my drone parts. Do I go down to 11? If I sell any and then end up buying, that's just completely inefficient. If I sell three and end up never buying, I gain a little bit for them. This is like half price drones, right? Because they cost eight in a store, they're selling for four. Um, Alright, I'm going to sell three. And if I buy any drone parts this run, that was a mistake. You all can point out to that 12 scrap mistake. Probably. Yeah. Alright, but he did swap all out his missile for some reason. Steel supplies. Nice. We have we have cloaking scrap numbers. Okay. We can get cloaking, man. Oh, it's for Zoltan. Just what I was worried about. Zoltan homeworlds when I already have a Zoltan shield. Wonderful. Just wonderful. So we know that this is a store. Quest to save a store. I want to beeline it there. Although, we do want to find stores on the way there, too. Using these two weapons only was intended. But. God, look at this guy's weapons. Oh, I should have Masala maneuvered you earlier. Okay. Very nice. For a second you thought I was gonna enter sector eight. <laughs> no, I'm in I'm going into sector four. Goodness. No. If these were all my weapons, I would be very scared for the boss. I am we're only like 30 minutes into this run. You're definitely not boss ready. Kind of surprising how AI works. If their weapon's about to fire damage, their weapons room off and jolts them keeping that weapon on until it fires, then they swap. Ship could hardly crush flagship with systems to support. Yeah, that ship that ship had boss ready weapons. I do not. All right, if I get Zoltan Border Police, I do have mind control. All I care about right now is a store. Although, if I get level 2 hacking, I still have enough for four. Let's do that. Free shield potential shields in second floor. Black versus laser 2 double heavy laser was not bad. Man, that is... I would... I would love that weapon system for the boss fight, honestly. Um, yeah, double missile using weapons. Let's go ahead and do this. God, this music is so good. Ben Prunty, you mad genius, you. 
Watch people tell you not boss ready. Hollow does flagship with heavy on heavy laser, low reactor channel. <laughs> Hollow's good. Good. Uh, okay. Do I go to the store? Do I do? Yeah, yeah, I would just go directly to the store. We know that that's also a store, so this doesn't have cloaking. Hopefully, it'll have backup battery if it doesn't. Okay, it does have back. Ooh, and long range scanners. Yeah. Alright, so. We know that there's a store. If I get two more ship fights and then the ship fight at the quest, that should still be enough. Or backup battery, so let's let's go for that. I mean, uh, for cloaking. All right, open border police. How many of you are here? There are four. Okay. Okay. Double eye on two. Oh my god, he killed my doors. Oh, this is really, really effing bad. Uh, okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? I need this to close. Okay, I need my shields. I need this. Uh, okay, all right, I need... Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay. I need this so that my shields at least stay up a little bit. Okay, I need you in there. Okay. Uh, I need my mind control fixed. Okay. Uh Okay, that guy's dead. Oh man, four free borders. Okay, you know what? I took some damage there, but I am okay with how that fight went. That could have been way freaking worse. Four freaking Zoltan border police borders, man. I will be perfectly fine with how that went, because that was one of the, it's one of the worst events in a game in the game is border result in border police, and we're alive. We're alive, and I'm not at like eight health or something. I am I am okay with how that went. Yeah, FTL can remind can kill us at any time. I don't need the reminder, but thanks, FTL. Handled it well. Uh I could have done it better, I'm sure, but I think there was at least one point where I had only one shield up when I could have had two shields up, but I was... Oh, Zoltan Borders, man. And when I have Zoltans to deal with, Zoltan Borders is the worst because they can explode and start chain reactions and you just lose all your crew, man. Sepeketeris, you spent all day collecting plants. It was cold and hungry work, but super fun. Nice. Collecting plants, eh? Okay. Uh, I'm not doing any upgrades until I have enough for hacking, uh, for cloaking again. That was a very stressful fight, that's for sure. Triple defense. Damn, he's got hacking. Uh, that's okay, that's fine. Okay, good fight. Get wrecked, NG Hacker in his Ulton sector. What are you doing here? What's up, Flurchin? Thank you for the bits. Fail Cress equals Tiny Weeds, also a model organism. Okay. <laughs> cool. I don't know what that means, but cool. Okay, so the quest is a store. Is this a dive sector? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, double dive. I don't have a way to get the store quest and this store, do I? 
Two Sultans and Shields was damage immunity there. Yeah, I didn't take any damage though. And I I I was I was keeping an eye on my shields for that. Model organism means it's it's to plants what rats and mice are to people in science. Oh, okay. Interesting. Man, do I take this door or the quest door? I want both. One, two, three, four. Five, five. Three, four. Five, six, seven. Fence dive, dive. Oh, man. Streak is still alive. I, it got reset yesterday, so I don't. I wouldn't call it still alive. <laughs> I think I have a higher chance of Zeltan Shield quest, which I don't need. But I'm, I'm gonna go up this way. Streak is always alive. Sometimes it's just alive at zero. So. Alright, so this is the store that I'm hoping has cloaking. Pretty good dodges for him there. Nice. All right, good fight. Please have cloaking. Repair and 23 scrap. But no cloaking. A burst laser tudo. We had to bail yesterday. Did we ever discover which weapon goes down with a halberd swipe on one shield? Yeah, it's the one that's considered the weapon in the first slot, which we learned in sector one and two is always the two power weapon. So unsurprisingly, Farb was right. I prefer this over Pike Beam? Probably. Well, definitely I prefer it over, but is it better? It's faster, so yeah. Alright. One, two, three. So this is two chances of Zoltan Shield Quest. I sure hope it doesn't put the Zoltan Shield Quest in this sector if I get it. So it's, um, Hear Them Out is what we're looking for. So this is the last chance to Hear Them Out right here. Fine, those is fine. Uh, his weapons are. I think I'm immune to damage. Well, his bombs might make me not immune. Oh, nice. We got his weapons offline right as that was about to hit us. Cool. Keep forgetting that I actually have backup battery. Oh, this is a test to test that you passed. Woo! <laughs> I always forget about that quest. Nice. Well, there we go. Now we got we could have four shield immunity or two shields or four shield point immunities now. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. What's up, Real Rock B? I'm doing well, my friend. Hope you're doing well. This was a test they scream when they're at one hole and have a burst laser shot aimed at them. Yeah. It was, it was a test that we didn't know you were destroyed. I mean, we wanted to see a diverse crew and something and something. Wait, bro. I was only joking. <laughs> God, can't even take a joke. You mean that joke where you were shooting me in the face? Yeah, wasn't it funny? No. It was not funny. Right, this is Slug Sector, so we need level 202. Okay. I would really like to get weapon value, but I need to always have enough for long ranged not for cloaking. Our super diverse crew of three Zultans and two NGs. I know, we're so diverse. God, how could we be so diverse? Alright, we are immune to damage to you. 
depending on the bomb we are, I'm gonna go for crew kill here. Okay. Great start. It's the bomb. The bomb is the thing that would make us unable to crew kill this. Okay, there it is. So I might hit their weapons a couple times as we wait for them to, you know, die in their coffin. Oh, it's a firebomb. Okay, we dodged it though. Okay, firebomb down. We're good. How'd you know it was a firebomb? Charge time? Wow, this guy's got so many dodges when I'm pretty sure he wasn't even in piloting there. Ah, uh, the, it was this is the they said it was a fire weapon thing. Okay, gotcha. Good dodge. Um surprised he's using the firebomb instead of the ion blast. I'm just not timing this well. Yeah, I didn't realize it was a fire event. Oh god. You know what? Come on, stop burning. How the hell is this? Uh, whatever. Please dodge, please dodge. Okay, good. How are they still not dead? Come on, O2. Taking a year. There it is. Okay. All right. That was a little sketchy there at the end, the double fire in the weapons room. You got this level of knowledge? Well, well, if I had read, I would have known that that was a firebomb, but I don't read text events anymore. I, and I, I'll, occasionally I do. It gets me into trouble sometimes because I'm like, what event is this again? What quest do I have? I don't know. I mean, if you if it's a fire event, you know it's a fire bomb. There would be no, if it's a fire event, there's always a fire beam, a fire bomb, or that's. I think it's just those two, right? I don't know if fire beam drone is ever a thing in that event. But. but yes, there are some people, and a lot of them are here in chat, who have ridiculous FTL knowledge. Lots of people here have played too much of this game, that's for sure. Including me. It's only one of those two, yeah. I think it's always either Fire Beam or Fire Bomb. Um, he's got two Mantis. They're a crew kill opportunity. I think he just boarded me with, with a Mantis, didn't he? you to go back into... Oh god, you're probably killing that, aren't you? Lasting too long. Okay, go back into the fire room. There it is. Crew kill. Ha ha ha! Unless he gets out. Oh, he might get out with how long it's taking him to burn. Got him! Nice! Alright. Like I said, hard to crew kill on this ship, but you can. You get lucky with fires or are patient for O2 crew kills. They never repair their O2. Uh, the ship that we just fought, Sir Randalaw, it's called a coffin ship. Uh, because if you no if you go back and look at that ship, you'll notice there are literally no doors between engines and the rest of the ship and O2 and the rest of their ship. So you have a free O2 crew kill anytime you want to on that ship. Fire weapons event is amusing because it doesn't check their other weapons, which can result in slug ships generating like a halberd beam plus a fire beam and no way to get through shields. Yeah. Decently strong with his weapons. Okay. 
Well, dear dodges for me. That's okay. Resultant shield still keeping us safe. That is a lot of crew on your ship, bro. You're also a Mantis bomber, so not surprising. Oh, he's about to board. Ah, <laughs> we killed him right before he got to the boarding. Quick, get on their ship! Not allowed. Denied. All right, I have almost 300 scrap. Please have cloaking store, please. I made a reloader. Bam, system's done, all right. All right, this guy's got an ion stunner. Do I care about an ion stunner or anything else here? There's that ion bomb we were talking about yesterday. How goes the run so far, they call me Haze? I have a flak of Earth Laser 1 in all my systems. I don't want to say if it's good or bad. I'll let you decide if that's good or bad. I want this automated reloader. Um... Actually, I might go one, two, weapon upgrade for now. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, I think that'll be a nice, decent bonus to our weapons while we wait to get this pike beam online or just sell the pike beam once we find an actual good weapon. Reloader's any good? The fact that it didn't keep me from getting any uh, other good stuff, I think, meant that yes, it was definitely worth it. shields online once all these systems are being used in. Okay, good. We get dodges. Okay. Okay, what I really need right now is power. I'm in great shape except that I kind of need bunch of power so I can use all my systems. Dodge and power is probably what we get next. Reloader could be useful. We are limited by burst 2, but you'd be selling the pike because because pike. Yeah, if I get no other stores with weapons, though, I, I feel like I'll want the pike. I mean, I don't ever really want it because the pike kind of sucks, but I don't feel like I just need to sell it quite yet. Beam pierce for a short moment. We're lucky to stay in the room. That was checked already as blocked. Yeah. All right. They're going to burn us out. So we know that there is a firebomb or a fire beam on the ship we're about to fight. So that's a firebomb. That is a lot of weapons he has there. Ooh, Ion Stunner on that on-fire shield room. Uh, okay, uh, maybe here, though. I feel like I went into that room. Ah, uh, they're just getting out just in time. I don't think we actually crew kill this, but, you know, you never know. You know you never know. I'm watching the doors. They go in the shield room. Don't get the fire out. I'm pretty sure some other room is going to burn before we actually crew kill this. Oh, and there's still another crew. Okay, it's not happening. <laughs> it's hard to kill slug ships with, like, fire and stuff because they always have, like, six crew on their ship and a heal bay. How can we sure about the bomb and weapon before the fight? Yeah, the event. Yeah, the event that said that it's a fire. They're going to burn you out. That thing where I said I wasn't reading, I actually read that time. All right. Um. Power. Okay. 
Okay. This. Okay, well, lots of doges. Good mind control on you. Please get off my ship, please. Okay, good. Yeah. It's also hard to crew kill when you're in a nebula and can't use sensors to see what you're shooting at, so... That's my excuse for not going for more crew kills here. All right. Um, I feel like... Sector 5. I feel like I go for power and third shield before I even think about getting another weapon online. I feel like that's really what I want to go for. So power. Let's get one more power. Yeah, now I feel better about my power situation. Now we're going to go for third shield next, I think. So we probably have five jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Probably something like that. For this reason, I go in slug or nebula to get a slug in your run if you can. You go in slug or nebula to get a slug in your run if you can. Uh, if I have a choice between uncharted nebula or slug nebula, I'll usually choose slug nebula because slug nebula is more likely to have stores and ship fights. There are times when slugs are scary, but uncharted nebulas are notorious for being pretty empty sectors, so I don't go for the chance of finding a slug, though. I go for the chance of scrap games. Hmm, this is so close to a crew kill. But it's not because their clone bay didn't go down somehow. Somehow I didn't get their clone bay down. Or maybe they just repaired it, I don't know. Nice double reward, though. Although it is nice to have a slug in any nebula since it lets you see where the crew are on enemy ships. Alright, there's a store. I think I really want to sell. I have long range scanners, right? So it's likely that this is an empty jump. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four is what I was planning on doing. Here. The NG did repair the clone bay? Okay. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Uh, would you like payment? Nice. He's not buying it. Just kill him. Man, no shields for me. I mean, no uh, doges for me. Oh my god, the triple dodge. Okay, we're fine though. Shields up. No surrender. Never give up, never surrender. Okay, okay that is enough for shields, but let's go to the store and see what's here. Because I don't know, what if... Igniter, halberd beam, another flak, a burst laser, shoe, a heavy. There's a lot of good stuff we can get at a store. And this has... Mm, hole laser one is okay. Do I sell pike beam for hole laser one? Probably. I probably do that. And I think... I, I have, I've just under enough strap, scrap to actually get my third shield online, but I'm gonna... I'm not gonna get it online yet. Because I think this is still good enough for now, and I want third shield more than I want that whole laser online, but... Let's 
Uh, I mean, sure. Pirate or Zoltan? Never Zoltan, right? Although, Sector 6, there's a lot of scary pirate ships. The thing about the thing that scares me about about pirate sectors is they is they can have I think any of the different scary bombers. I think they can have Zoltan bombers, Mantis bombers, slug. Are there slug bombers? It can have Lania's bombers, but it can have the Mantis and the Zoltan ones. NG bombers. Still think we go there because it gives us a chance at the green sector that could be a civilian. So, what's the least appealing sector for me? Sector seven abandoned. Any rock sector, most Zoltan sectors, those are a lot of the worst ones in my opinion. Sector 7 Abandoned is probably the scariest one in the game to me. Pirates get their own versions of racial ships? Do they? So they wouldn't be the same type of bombers that we would see in their sectors? That I didn't know. One Zoltan shield for missile. No, we don't. We only have 95% chance of dodge. Okay, thank you for not being zero. Oh, he's got an engine repairing now. So the bombers I would fight, the, the Zoltan bombers I would fight in the Zoltan sector are different than the Zoltan bombers in other sectors, eh? In Pirate Sector, huh? Rock Sector 7 doesn't get Rock Scout, so pretty much everything has high-level cloaking. Okay. That's another. Rock se Sector 7 definitely sounds scary, too. Sector 5 abandoned and Sector 4 Zoltan are awful, yeah. Sector 4 is when the bombers can start appearing, right? I think that's right. Alright, so I probably want to go for power and weapon upgrade next. Two, three, four. Can't make that happen. I care about a store right now. I kind of don't care about a store right now. I kind of need ships for scrap to gain. Pirate light cruiser cloaking. Ooh, that is some pew pew nids right there, though. Only should be level one cloaking. Maybe not. That seemed like that was a little bit longer than level one. I do get the cloaking offline though. That's good. that for some reason, maybe because of my cloaking. Oh, so this is this is another high scrap gain. Is this going to be the second Mantis I turn down? I really want to take this one, honestly. That's a nope. This is Sector 6, so how much scrap is this? Like a 40 scrap deal or something? 30 or 40? Uh, high roll Sector 4 energy bombers are terrifying, especially if you get them in an asteroid field. Okay. It's going to be 50 scrap, huh? Let's let's find out how much it's going to be. I, I take that so often, I don't actually know what a lot of times how much I'm actually going to get for it. So let's 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 learn. 57 scrap. Okay. Almost 60 scrap. That is crazy good. 50 to 60 dragon sand. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You and Britain off, you know your scrap gains. Right, um, yeah, let's get that next. Is that really worth a mantis life? <laughs> he would have died anyway. Honestly, it probably was worth the mantis life, probably. It's a lot of scrap. This guy can't damage us, so is there a way I can crew kill this? 
I'm very patient somehow. With mind control, maybe. I get like a fire in here, maybe. <laughs> Definitely not where the human uh, life. I have a feeling. Not gonna be able to. There's too much health on these guys. On these guys. I do. Ah, oh, damn it. For some reason, I thought he would go over there. Whatever. Die. Still kind of worried about boarding, but it's hard to argue with 57 scrap and 52 scrap. That's the same thing. Um, you're worried about boarding? Uh, mind control is such good boarding defense that I'm less worried about it. I have turned down to my uh, Mantis, though. So... Yeah, there's a there's an argument that maybe Mantis will worth it, but that's a hundred scrap we got from two jumps from turning down crew, so. Don't need to fire up mind control, no med bay. Yeah, but I don't have the patience. Alright, there's the I don't have the patience to wait for mind control to keep coming back up. That'd probably be a twenty minute fight if well. Five to ten minute fight if I wait for that to keep coming up, so. Zoltan police encounter could have spiraled down worse, but being boarded that much is sort of rare. Well, yeah, and we're we're further into the run. And if there's a Sector 7 Zoltan, I'm probably not going there, so I shouldn't have any more Zoltan border police. There could be scary uh like a mantis sector fights or something, but again. Mantis fights. Mind control is really good. Like, really good. I have to deal with that. No weapons for you. Mind control this guy. Poking up before this thing. Right. Right, I also really want um, one more engine so I can have 100% dodge. Uh, depending on the fight, slaver fights, the crew kills two to three, a crew as well as scrap. If the crew kill is worth it. Guy it takes so long to get through here. Yeah, I don't think I, it's it's hard to crew kill an asteroid field too, but it's gonna happen. There's another easy crew kill with only two crew. Mind control the pilot, wait till they go to fight him, unload everything to pilot. Okay, yeah. Subconscious tool. Yeah, that would be if I just ignore their weapons. So that would depend. I feel like that strategy depends on what their weapons are. Because if I do that and they have a missile, then I'm taking a bunch of missiles while I try to do that. But maybe I can do that and then fire at the weapons at the second volley or something. All right, I'm gonna sell three again. Sun, I don't want to go there. Alright, let's go ahead and do this, this. Watching Scott showed you how fast you can end fights just melting them and piloting. Okay. I'm, I'm going to have to try that if I get a ship that looks doable. 
Yeah, that's actually a great deal. I'll take that for sure. Uh, I'd have to dive for a store. I don't think I need to be doing any of that right now. Going to Sector 7. Let's go ahead and get hacking. And you know what? One more power. And I'm basically boss ready. I would like one more weapon, some value points, but we're basically boss ready. Uh, an extra crew would be nice, though. I say after turning down three crew. Let's run. In Sector 7, if I get offered any more crew, I probably take any crew deal. Um, even if it's missing out on 50-something scrap, because I am actually a little worried about boarding now. That's that's kind of the one thing that could wreck us is a really bad boarding event. Again, mind control still really good defense, but four seven scrap man. That was an amazing sector six. We probably got close to two hundred scrap this sector. Uh, empty jumps empty. Oh yes, rebel stronghold, please. Do I go there? Yes, yes we do. I have long range scanners. All right, empty jumps. Empty jumps for look around. If I could immediately look around and have all these ship fights afterward, that would be amazing. Look around, look around. Okay. Store. Advanced FTL navigation, interesting. Vulcan, nah. I sell long-range scanners for advanced FTL navigation. Uh, that sounds like a bad idea. I'm gonna get a couple. Of Do I get a repair from under construction? I don't. I'm gonna get the green. Sounds like a bad idea when we're looking for under construction. Vulcan plus chain eye on the ultimate dream team. <laughs> Holy free heavy laser mark one. That is amazing. That is actually amazing. That was some really good dodges from him. Okay. Please, may I get the missile offline, please? Perfect. Free stuff, man. It's the best kind of stuff. Especially when that free stuff is awesome stuff, like a heavy laser mark one. How close are we to a crew kill here? Two crew. He has a heal bay. They're at the exact same health. I think I might be able to crew kill this. Oh, damn. He's going to walk in there and tank it. Mm. They needed to both be under 30 or under 15 for that. Okay, okay. If I'm patient, if I'm patient. There we go, okay. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. This guy needs to be under 15. This guy's shooting this thing too often. It's not a crew kill now, is it? Uh, that guy shooting the drone just lost it. <sighs> Level 102. Now I need to fire. Well, maybe the... Uh, maybe if I wait out... BO2. Won't work because of drone. Not if I kill the drone over and over. Maybe. Maybe. This is really, <laughs> really slow. 
This is why I normally don't do these crew kills. They're so slow, but this might actually work. He's out of drone parts now. Okay. It's just a shame we don't have hackings done. Uh, yeah, I don't think that would have helped us out. Kappa, lol, kappa. Yeah, we have this. We have this. I just have to wait. I think we have this. Will he run to the heal bay? He will. Um, or is he going to the O2? Oh, crap. He needs to die before he actually kills the level. If this is level 102. All right, there we did it. Woo, okay, 61 scrap, worth. All right, we got there, we got there. Um, so I've been to a store already. What do I, what do I want? I want this heavy laser. What do I want. All right, yay for crew kill, baby. Uh, oh, we're looking for empty jumps though. I almost forgot. Not even close, that's right. Can't tell the baby flagship is a bait. The empty jumps end up costing so much. Um, I feel like it's not a bait if you do it right. Focus bomb. Because I'm going to go through some ship fights when I don't have an empty jump to check. It's like here I'm going to go here to check if that's empty, if it's not empty. I don't know. That's actually a, it's an interesting thing to consider. How many empty jumps do you take before the under construction flagship is a jibbait, you know? Well, when it's not an actual empty jump and it's a free crew... Definitely work. Okay, so we skip the distress beacons. About to go into half power. 5, 10, 15, 17. Okay, that's good. I have quite, quite the volley. Yes, we do. Uh, we are immune to damage now. In the meantime, secondary training for the lulls. Empty jump filled with crew. <laughs> Why can't I hold all this crew? Stronghold doesn't have that many non ship beacons, so often it isn't that bad. Okay. If the layout is helpful, you're getting two extra jumps as well as the excellent reward. Yeah, I I think I think it's always worth looking for. The reward is just that good. I should pull the pilot, right? That did not pull the pilot. How the hell is Oh, I didn't hit the shield somehow. Yeah, this should pull the pilot guarantee. There we go. Two health. Reached room or pair drone. Is there a crew kill here? Oh god, there's might be damage here. Okay. I don't think I'm not even gonna try. Okay. 
Come on, look around. Look around, look around, look around. Alright, well, it's got to be at one of these jumps, because I've seen every jump over here and got everyone that was a... Empty jump. Come remind me of the event to use a hacking joint as a ship detector or not? You think it is. That gives you another jump of delay, huh? Care about any of this? I mean, I could buy another Zoltan for crew that is power. Um, what else am I doing with my scrap? Man, I'm going to have value points for days. I could probably go level 3 cloaking, level 3 hacking this run. Yeah, I think I think I'm good on crew. Could have had double Vulcan. Missed opportunity. There it is. Look around. Beautiful. Man, this guy does nothing to us. Under construction flagship, more like pansy pushover. Okay, don't get cocky. Don't get cocky, even though this run is, like, basically over. Don't get cocky. Gonna risk the safe win for a meme. <laughs> yeah. Alright, a Hermes missile. I can sell that at the store, I guess. Alright. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, five. Uh, I don't want to go to a pulsar. Do I care about a distress? I guess the question is, do I care about a distress enough to skip out on just selling something at the store? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we get that at least. Is it really winning if you aren't winning with style? I mean, I feel like we have some style going on here. I guess it's not double Vulcan meme style, but. Missiles online is fine. I mean, if I go. If I get all the upgrades I could get by not getting double Vulcan, it's this is a potential zero damage boss fight build right here. We are like with Zoltan Shield and we get level three cloaking and like fifth engine. This is a potential perfect boss fight run. Not saying it's gonna happen, but it's certainly a possibility. Now you have some mom get the camera and baby it's triple meme in your head. Okay. I could do a pulsar with this build. Fine, let's go pulsar. He tried double Vulcan once, was a loss. Weapons got hit by a missile without any support. The flagship's evasion enough, he couldn't even get through shields. It sounds like you played double Vulcan wrong. Just kidding. <laughs> but still. Really? You lost double Vulcan? Pretty sure we've done it all of one time on this stream, and it was pretty glorious from what I remember. <laughs> you should have got level 9 weapons with a buffer. I mean, you had hacking, right? You still had all the other good stuff, right? Oh, this is a dive now. Okay, one, two, three, four. I, I feel like we got double Vulcan once and it was a good run for us, but maybe I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm misremembering. Oh, that was a triple hit from that combat drone. Wow. Four shields and a value point. I love it when... When the uh, AI gets stuff that we aren't even allowed to get. It's my favorite. You had hacking, but you don't use the hacking depower, so phase two sucked. You don't use the hacking depower trick? 
Well, come on now. You can't blame that on Double Vulcan if you're not even going to use every tool at your disposal. It's lame? <laughs> okay, alright. Well, there's something I definitely disagree with Britnoth about. Uh, is selling a Hermes worth missing a jump and having to double dive? And yeah, we might get Sector 8 store. Get good. To me, using the hacking bypass defense drone bypass trick is getting good because you have to time it right. Yeah, I know. I don't buy flax because they're lame, get good, they're too OP. I just, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't, I don't really buy... Buy that the... That that's lame. I understand people don't hack the phase two, but it's quite considered acceptable to bypass the game for this instance. There's a Reddit post one of the devs made that seems to tentatively approve of it. Oh yeah. I mean, there's so many things that players do in this game that's not intended. I, that one thing being the one you choose not to do, I don't understand. But you know, to everybody, it's your prerogative. Seems like a weird thing to choose not to do, because that's the cheaty thing, but... We don't try for cheeky swipes here, but maybe because they're too cons it's inconsistent. Yeah, I also don't go for cheeky swipes because if you're no-pausing, I'm not good enough to do it. I haven't practiced it. So I don't know how to do it consistently, which is what you said, consistent. This is what drones do. There's a ton of manipulations with shutting off drones. Yeah, I mean, if you manipulate crew for crew kills because you know how the AI works, how is that any different from manipulating defense drones to get a hacking drone through? I don't. I. I. I see no difference between setting a setting. The, um, Mind controlling, on piloting, let them run into piloting, shooting, piloting, you're manipulating AI. You're manipulating AI to get a defense, uh, get hacking drone plus defense drone. I see zero difference between those two things. I don't know, it's all manipulating the AI and using the game's program against itself. I just, I don't see a difference. Uh, let's see here. So I'm going to do this and we back up battery that. You manipulate crew AI, I manipulate my girlfriend. There we go. But that just means that Britnoth's playing on even higher difficulty than the rest of us if he's not bypassing defense drones with uh, hacking. So. He's get gooder than, than I am at this game, I guess. Or at least playing on a higher difficulty, that's for sure. Kind of thought the drone hacking bypass was intentional. It makes the whiff sound when you successfully pull it off. No, it wasn't intentional. We know that for sure. The devs have said it wasn't intentional, but they also say they think it's cool that players figured it out, so. They can sometimes whiff without even doing the trick. That's true, too, yeah. Um... 
need them to be in an orange room. No, I need to actually not take damage here. Okay, I won't take damage yet. Eh, yeah. It's not, uh, not enough time, so I won't even worry about it anymore. You keep trying to pause the stream thinking you're on YouTube. Yes, yeah, people say that all the time for whatever reason. Um, yeah, I guess I'll save it. This is looking, again, this looks like I could get fourth shield. Potentially miss out on a value point or two, but if I get level three cloaking, level three hacking, fourth shield, five dodge, quite possible we get a perfect boss fight. Not that I care that much about it, but it'd be pretty nice. Especially after yesterday's runs that were pretty rough. Well, that's annoying. All right, it's not a not enough time, so I'm just gonna kill you. Woo, that was an over 100 scrap deal, okay. Reward. Funny thing is, you can still land the hacking drone in phase two some of the time, the shots miss fairly often. I guess that would be learning a new skill, like how to time sending your hacking drone over, which could be an interesting thing to learn. Like, knowing where the hacking drone always comes in and knowing the angle and the speed of the defense drone, there's some trigonometry stuff right there. I guess the flagship is just so big it's hard for a defense drone to turn fast enough. Well, I feel like it'd be more like learning... The travel time of hacking from your ship to the shields, taking into consideration what direction the defense drone is looking, or maybe even manipulate it if you have it, a flak that it will try to shoot at. I mean, maybe maybe that raises value of flak even more, because then you just time hacking drone coming in at the same time as flak. You know, raise make 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 flak value even higher. Yeah, missiles, that kind of thing. Nice. As long as the missile goes offline, I'm happy. Go for the cloak. That's what you do exactly, yeah. Yeah. Are you cosplaying a Jedi? I am asking because I where I don't know what that word is um no I'm not cosplaying a Jedi but I am wearing what's called a Snuggie which is a um basically a blanket a backwards blanket with sleeves very comfortable and I wear it when it gets kind of chilly in my apartment when you first started you would shoot flax with a hack because you didn't know about depowering it you would shoot flax with ah okay yeah have to be some kind of math champion to work out that timing. Yeah. All right, well, this has been a very good final sector. Uh, if I get backup battery two, I could backup battery cloaking and the hacking, and I just need one more value point, and we are... I have more than I need. More than I need. It's like a Jedi robe. I mean, it's kind of like a Jedi robe. If it was blue. <laughs> if a Jedi robe was blue. You've been mean to ask. Am I okay with my new apartment? Yeah, new place is nice. The only thing I don't love about my new apartment is the water pressure in my shower for the hot water is not as good as my last place, so. Okay, this is a not enough time thing, so I actually do need a crew kill if possible. Do everything in our power to crew kill here. Mm 
Oh, he is dodging like a like a mopo though. Wow, like really actual crazy dodges. This. Okay, that that small bomb could wreck my day if it hits this. Beautiful. Okay, so now how do I do this? I need him to go put out a fire somewhere. Alright, I'm just going to be patient and see. I feel like his ship's going to burn down before we can crew kill this, honestly. You always take the flow limiter out of my shower. I don't know how to do that, and I don't know if there even is one of those in my shower. If I knew how to, I would 100% do that. I've already changed the shower head from the stock one that, you know, the apartment complex has. It would be inside where the head connects to the pipe. I don't know what the head is, or where that is, or how to get access to it. All shower heads have a flow limiter stock. Well, the shower head that I bought, I don't think has one of them. And he's burned down before. Be inside where the head connects to the pipe. Where the head connects to the pipe. So if I unscrew the shower head that I put on there, there might be something in there. I don't know. I, I don't honestly don't know if that's a, the case because the hot water into my bathroom sink is also very low pressure so maybe maybe I can take it apart and look in there uh, is that light that plays tricks with Rand's camera you're seeing some spots on Rand's head it's because of the lighting and I haven't figured out all the settings on my camera yet when I'm a with a new apartment I just haven't figured out about that, all that stuff yet I don't I don't know how to get the perfect lighting and the perfect camera settings with the camera that I have and the lighting that I have People keep talking about it. It's like I can't. I don't know how to fix it. Uh, I have to. I, I'll have to spend hours messing with settings to get that correct. I just haven't taken. I haven't had the time to mess with it, and I'm lazy. That was a double whammy. Double whammy of no time and laziness. Oh, that's the... Okay, I don't think I get perfect boss fight now. Wow. Wow, I would have just taken damage from that crap with the way this bullshit fight has started. Okay, at least I got his missiles offline. Fight in there. Okay. All right. I got a couple crew kills, and we almost took damage there again. How the frick am I not dodging? Man, that piloting hack screwed us. Did I get the Commando 450? Is that a, is that a camera? I have this Logitech C9 whatever it is, like 920 or something like that. And I've had it for like six years or something. I've had it basically forever. So satisfying when the guys in shields get sniped with heavy laser? Yes, it is. Get deleted, sir. Get deleted. I might just try that though, take the shower head off and see if there's a limiter. I assume it would be some sort of like inserted thing to the pipe. I have a feeling that's not on my shower head. I have a feeling that's not a thing. 
and it has to do with something with the boiler or something at my apartment complex. Oh, Seinfeld showerhead reference. Ah, okay, yes. Yes. Now now I get it. Um I might be able to get weapon value point before phase three. It looks like a washer. Okay. Cool. I would need 26 scrap from phase two. Alright, um, so boarding drone or these two guys we're dealing with. We're super lucky we never have to deal with it, but I doubt we're that lucky. What's up, Grey Haunter? How are you doing? Or maybe not even super lucky, I just got to take it offline. God, was I wrong to cloak that early? I think this is okay. There's two guys in the side room. If I kill them now... Side room bug. Kill him before missile, so it's a perfect boss fight. Nice. Alright. One more phase of no damage, and we have perfect boss fight. Uh, why will. How will this not. Okay. Better do this so it fills up. Then open it. Come. There it is. There it is. There it is. Your apartment has weak water pressure in the bathroom sink, but it's fine in the shower after you took the thing out. Okay, all right. Well, I'm definitely going to try that. Gary, thanks for that suggestion. I'm going to actually give myself a note to check that tonight. Or if I have time between stream and rehearsal. All right. Check water pressure limiter in shower shower head pipe all right if i could if i could fix that that's like the one annoying thing at my new place okay so 95 scrap ah uh, five scrap short of being able to get the weapon value so let's get Piloting and a power, I guess. My apartment complex pay for the water. Uh, I pay my complex for the water. I got force shield this time. You thought I usually skip that with cloaking. What's the logic here? <laughs> look, look at my ship. What else would I buy? Like the only other thing I could potentially get would be like a weapon value point, but I have. Level three. Uh, this uh, this is gonna be probably an over six k score with over two thousand scrap. You're right. I normally don't, but this it's it's just the amount of scrap I've gotten this run. We had long range scanners early. We just had a really good run. And we don't cloak this first one because we have Zoltan shield. Okay. Wow. Well, he is dodging like crazy though. Still not through. Ah, damn, I just failed. Should have done that earlier. Yeah, there's a triple dodge there. Okay, well, definitely no perfect boss fight, that's for sure. Uh, if I would got more crew kills, maybe. I didn't have to deal with those guys, but... GG! Really freaking strong uh, Zoltan C run right there. Ridiculous dodging from the flagship. Yeah, it took us, like, three or four volleys to get through his Zoltan shield, which was just ridiculously insane.
Don't need weapon value if you don't take damage. <laughs> I play too fast. You're still busy with dinner. Sorry. <laughs> I was at almost two hours. Check the score. 64.77. Yeah. That is my highest score on that ship. On this... Uh, save file. Almost 2200 scrap gain. 55 ships defeated and 104 beacons. I love long-range scanners early. All right, so that was Zoltan. Was that B or C? That was B. Zoltan B. Oh, it's nice to have a really strong OP run after yesterday's stressful runs. Did I have long-range scanners? Yep, I did. Um, all right, my friends. Well, that's the only FTL run we're doing today, so I don't rage too hard. We're going to swap over to some um, grounded play with friends in just a bit, so if anyone's not going to hang out for that, appreciate you all being around. We'll play another FTL hard mode no pause run tomorrow morning before uh, going into grounded again. And uh, as usual, thank you for hanging out for those who aren't joining us, but I'm going to take a quick stand-up stress break. When we come back, we'll kill some giant terrestrial spiders. See you in just a bit, my friends. <laughs>